My name's Tracy Noonan, and this is my daughter, Danielle. We're from Cohasset, Massachusetts. And our company is Wicked Good Cupcakes. We're from Boston, and everything's wicked piss out here. <laughs> Our cupcakes are baked fresh daily from scratch. No boxes or mixes are ever used. I am head baker, and she is head decorator. Need any help with anything? Danielle and I have always been very close. We make all our decisions together. <laughs> no, no, we don't. She makes most of the decisions all the time. <laughs> Mom, the red velvets are done. We're at a point where our company is growing too fast for us to keep up. And we actually have a new twist on how to share our wicked good cupcakes with the nation. Oh, this was only half a dozen? Yeah. Are you worried the sharks won't understand our accent? No, I'm not worried they won't understand us. Hi, sharks. I'm Tracy Noonan, and this is my daughter, Danielle. We own and operate Wicked Good Cupcakes. We're here today seeking $75,000 in return for 20% equity in our company. Two years ago, Buttercup moved out. As a mom, I was heartbroken. <laughs> I decided we should take cake decorating classes as a way to spend some time together. Well, before we knew it, in October 2011, Wicked Good Cupcakes was born. We received tons of requests to ship our cupcakes nationwide. It was a big challenge, though, trying to figure out how to keep them fresh and intact. And that's when we came up with the idea of shipping them in a jar. Our cupcake jars are baked fresh daily. We layer them with homemade frosting and filling, ship them in gift boxes with spoons so they're ready to eat right out of the package. Basically, they appeal to anyone with a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We're not afraid to work hard. Our days right now average 13 to 14 hours plus. Mom's definitely getting her fair share of time with me. <laughs> yes. So which of you sharks will be the first to sink your choppers into our sweet deal? It's definitely a risk worth taking. We found that there's a lot of dough to be made from batter. <laughs> oh, Thank oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta try it. Yeah, we, do. we gotta we have, try it. We actually have some for you to try. They're wicked good. <laughs> they also have a much better shelf life thanks to the jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a jaw? Is that a jaw? Jaw. I love your accent. <laughs> Where are you from? Boston. Boston. The middle one's for you. Thank you. No problem. Cookies and cream is for you. Oh, my mm. God. Thank you, Buttercup. <laughs> well, well, ladies, let me say welcome to the Shark Tank. Thank from you. From a fellow Bostonian. I live on Marlborough Street. Oh, I love Marlborough Street. <laughs> that is one damn good jar of cake. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, Look at this. It's gone already. Here's another jar for you, Mike. <laughs> um, how many have you sold so far, Tracy? From January of this year, we've sold um, $73,000 worth of jars. Our cupcake shop has sold um, 150,000, including the 73,000 of the jars. So you have a store. We have a retail mm -hmm. storefront as well, correct, since October 2011. Are we being asked to invest in the retail store and the jar cupcake company? We're actually offering a piece of both, we'll the retail no, shop we'll as well yours. as the jars. We'll uh, basically, our sales right now uh, for this year are slated to be $360,000. The growth potential that we have discovered with these is phenomenal. Tracy, and it's not patented. Someone else can put a cake in a jar and ship it across the country. Absolutely, they could. So tell me what your plan is. How are you going to grow this business quickly so that if I give you $75,000, I get richer? That's all I care about. We want to be the Ben and Jerry's of cupcakes in a How jar. How many days is the shelf life of a jar? Seven, Seven to ten. Seven. So you've got to bake it and sell it right away and ship it, because it's going to be wow. two days before it's in somebody's mouth, right? Correct. Have you talked to anybody about extending the shelf life? Because I know it's something that you can do. Yeah, with preservatives. You know, the we... The problem, if you put preservatives in, does the taste this wonderful? Yeah, it that's might exa alter the That's taste. exactly the question. Will it alter the taste? What does each one cost to make, and what do you sell them for? The eight-ounce jars cost $2.15 to make. We retail that for $5.95. The 16-ounce jar costs $3 to make, and we retail that for $8.95. This product will never be in retail. It's always going to be an online. Somebody buys it, you bake it, you send it overnight to them. Actually, we do have some wholesale clients. We have a coffee company up in Massachusetts. What are you charging her a jar? We're charging her $3 a jar. It's not enough margin for you. Okay, but here's the thing. 
we're buying in such pathetic bulk right now. Okay. If we had Tracy, more money. Tracy, in your best case scenario, I give you the $75,000. Yep. Tell me what your margins will be. Sure. You, right now, it costs you $2.15 to make the small one and $3 for the big one. Right. How much can you reduce the cost? I believe we can get the smaller jars down to $1.45. Question I have is, on the mason jars, are there any alternative that would allow you to reduce your costs considerably? I gotta say, the mason jars are a really big draw for people. Exactly. You can it's see it. It's motherhood and apple it's, pie. Exactly. Yeah. It's a homemade product in a crafty container. Right, it suggests homemade, right? There's right, right exactly. Right. And people do say that to us. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with your packaging. I just think you might need a better supplier for the jar itself. Maybe you're not buying it a big enough bulk. We need more money to buy in bigger bulk. Bottom line, that's why we're here. Tracy, as, as you can tell, I'm not a, I'm not a big dessert guy. Uh, so you can pass yours down this way. I know this is really good. It's pass that to cake. Mark. Um, there's definitely a novelty aspect to it because I've never heard of a cupcake in a jar. So I think you can sell some of those. How'd you like the product? It's too sweet for me, but I have concerns with the retail and the jar aspect of it. So for that reason, I'm out. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Robert's not a big dessert eater. I am, and if I invest in this company, I'll be a bigger and bigger and <laughs> bigger <laughs> dessert eater. And I'm, I'm, I'm afraid because I love the product. Well, we work there, and we, you know, we look we'll, pretty we'll good. Li we'll limit you. You do it. I will look the same. Trust me. Uh, I'm out. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. You know, I, I have now tried three. They are fantastic. They are wicked good. <laughs> the problem is, it's just not going to have a long shelf life. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Cupcakes are super scorching hot right now, and there's just so many people going into this space. That's not really where my specialty is, and um, I think you guys are going to do a great, great things, but it's really not a fit for me, so I'm out. Okay, okay. Thank, you. thank you. Come on, Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer. You may not like it. I love the product. I hate the margins. I'll give you the $75,000. I don't want any equity. I want a dollar from every jar. Oh. A dollar? Silence, a dollar? please. What? Let me get the offer out. I want a dollar from every jar until I get my $75,000 back, which means you have to sell 75,000 jars, all right? And then I want it to drop to 50 cents in perpetuity. And you decide what to do with the business. Can we just scoot out in the hall for one second? Don't trust me, you're not going to get a worse offer than that, so you probably should talk. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank all you. Right. <laughs> How much money does that leave them with if they give you a dollar? Practically nothing. <laughs> think, I, I, think, think what you're doing, Kevin. Hey, listen. This will give them incentive to figure their margin problem out. OK, and what's 50 cents for every jar? Yeah, in perpetuity. What's perfect? It means forever. <laughs> oh, my god. I like my deal, and I'll sleep tonight with a cupcake beside me. Yeah. <laughs> Follow your lead, lady. So, Tracy, Danielle, welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Four sharks were out, and Mr. Wonderful made you an offer. He's giving you the 75000 but he wants no equity. He wants a dollar off every cupcake jar until he gets paid back, and then 50 cents from there on in until you can't bake anymore. <laughs> Don't do a deal that could cripple your business. I agree with him. Don't do something that you'll regret afterwards. Exactly. Oh, Tracy, talk yeah. is so cheap. Um, OK, we'd like to come back to you with 40 cents a jar. Damn. I'll do in perpetuity. <laughs> 45 cents, you have a deal. Come to mama. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's great. Oh. Thank you. Wow. That's wonderful. <laughs> and the product really is fantastic. Thank you. Get bacon. Good luck. Good luck. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be very happy. Mr. Wonderful will see his return sooner than he thinks, and we're just going to do great.